Morning guys, YouTube, people, world, everywhere. Uh, it's Thursday, back home. Uh, I got home yesterday, about 7 o'clock in the morning, Wednesday morning. Um, anyway, uh, check out my couple of videos ago, giving away a Stalbus drain plug, oil drain valve. Uh, you just have to go to that video, comment what size you need. <clears throat> like this one is an M18 by 1.5. Some of them are, you know, M12 by 1.25. Some of them are different sizes. Go to that video, just comment in the comments um, what size you need and basically what truck, what car you're, you'll be using it on. Um, anyway, I uh, got home and I got a couple, well, I got one item anyway. This is a radiator I got off eBay. Sorry for the noise in the background. Doing laundry. Always got to do laundry when I get back. <clears throat> Came in a big box. Cooling and radiator specialists. So this radiator was 200 bucks. Comes with a billet cap, radiator cap. Um, my billet snout, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, I picked this one because I'll spin it around and show you why. Mm, here we go. All right, there we go. There's the whistles and the bells. So it comes with the brass petcock. Actually pretty pretty nice. Not not your standard petcock. Fully TIG welded, supposedly. Looks like it. Looks looks alright. The reason I bought this and went with this is because of the shroud. The fan shroud. Um, I believe it's stainless steel fan shroud. Um, looks like it's stainless steel. Could be aluminum. Um, anyway. Got ports for automatic transmission, which I don't have. I have a manual transmission, but if I ever decide to do like an LS swap in that truck, or if somebody else does, this radiator will work for that. So... Anyway, what I got was the fan, fan, the shroud, the radiator, a relay, a temp sensor, harness, everything. Um, so this will be my plan to put it in Project Crack Pipe this week. But I'm thinking on this week, this half. What I'm going to be doing is TIG welding, or welding I should say, all this rear. So basically everything that's welded. So all these are going to be welded, all the tabs on the rear end is going to be welded. So I'm going to spend about two to three days finish up welding everything. Welding this back in here. Um finish welding all these parts I do have to run another cross ba cross brace probably here and probably some angle iron up front where that angle iron is I'm gonna run some angle iron across this way everything will be done back here and then I'm gonna go today Pick up some spark plugs and some RTV silicone because I'm going to pull all this off. My goal for this off section, these days off, my goal is to have basically from the, from the bed back completely done, painted, uh, everything sanded, ground down. Um, I can't think of anything else I need. I got the shock tabs. I 
can't think of anything else I need to weld. Um, but like I said, just the, uh, another piece across for the bed, another piece across on the back. Um, and yeah, and I can't think of anything else that needs to be welded on. I do have to cut that piece down in there. I gotta cut basically just this little section off. Let's see if we can see it. <clears throat> Where the airbag hits. So you see the black mark, sharpie mark. I gotta cut that, round that off. Um, and I think that's it. That'll be it for the rear. Um, I want to paint the rear axle. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm planning on doing. Um, I'm going to mount this rear a little better. Uh, the rear tank a little bit better. But anyway, and then, uh, take all the arms off. The four link arms, take those off paint those I'm just gonna be doing black I'm just gonna paint everything black um, those the heim joints I'll leave them that color the bolts I'll leave that color and uh, yeah that's that's my plan for these days off I'm basically just gonna try to clean up these welds make these welds look a little better and you run them over with the TIG welder grind them up, grind all these sharp the sharp edges of the steel, I'll round those over and uh, just go ahead and paint it so anyway and then uh, I gotta clean and do all the stuff to the coolant system so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take uh, I'm gonna run the engine hot and I'm gonna try to flush it out with just a bunch of water, try to get it to operating temperature, get that thermostat open, and uh, just clean it out, clean it out as good as I can, so that I, when I put this on there, um, I don't have any issues with it clogging up or anything. Uh, what I might, <coughs> excuse me, what I might try to do is maybe do a, uh, like a vinegar, vinegar flush, uh, just flush some vinegar through there like I do the our electric water heater see if I can't come up with something to do with that maybe drain the radiator if it's not drained already and just pull that bottom hose off flush everything out and then let it run with vinegar and uh, let it get hot let it cycle let the water pump cycle and everything but anyway I'm gonna look up some ideas see what people do to flush that stuff. I know they sell stuff, but I think the stuff is pretty much a diluted, um, a diluted, like, acid etch type of stuff, which I do have some uh, acid etch for the garage floor stuff. I do have some of that. Maybe I could put that in there. I just want to get all the crud out of there, all the rust, all the nastiness out of there before I throw this radiator on because I don't want it to be all cruddy in there so anyway like I said I, I bought this on eBay um, it was $208 I offered the guy 190 he came back with 195 and I think with taxes like 210 211 bucks shipped fan shroud radiator harness radiator cap they're really proud of this radiator crap <laughs> radiator cap sorry um, and the uh, petcock, because in their descriptions they're like, oh, billet radiator cap and brass petcock. Anyway, whatever. Um, but yeah, it does come with a temp sensor <clears throat> right here. So I'll find a spot, throw this temp sensor on, wire this up. And uh, yeah, so I think the truck will probably be in the garage until uh probably monday so anyway you guys have any ideas thoughts whatever um just let me know make sure you guys go find this video 
It's a stall bus oil drain valve giveaway. Um, just subscribe and uh, comment, like I said, below what size you need <coughs> and uh, what vehicle it's going on. Um, basically, year, make, model, engine. Um, just so that I can confirm, um, I'll check, double check to see if it's right. If it's not right, I'll message you and uh, say, are you sure that's the size? And then if you say, yeah, it's the size, then I'm going to strip it out. And if it's not the right size, that's on you. So, all right, guys, make sure you guys subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing. And, uh, yeah, see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, later.